Welcome to Scaresville, people. Yes, we have some interesting stuff from Resident Evil 9. A little bit we know and don't know. And also, maybe the five remakes. So if you see you, boy, future boy, do like, subscribe, hit the bell notification, follow me to the future for more content. So, yes, people, when we get to this, we know there's a lot of stuff that has dropped about Resident Evil 9 and how it's possibly the biggest and most expensive Resident Evil game. So, is there a possibility that this game might even be open world in a type of way? That would be something they have not ever done before, and it could be a new direction as you've seen here so the other stuff that might not have been known is that it's a closing chapter for a few things both a closing and the beginning of something completely new the new story arcs to come after resident evil 9 so once it's finished there will be a lot of new stuff that will come it takes a series to new directions the highest budget which we knew it's been in development since 2018 and it's had the longest cycle yet of an, any resident evil game and where it says won't well, down there it says it won't be released till 2025 now the thing here where it's says new story arcs new um text series in new directions and has a both closing and a beginning this is what makes me think obviously that it's going to be something that we're going to be able to see a more open world space of resident evil that's the one thing that resident evil games have not done something similar to like dying light to them other games where we get to see an open world resident evil and especially with them now adding back in these um canon series one adding the whole third person perspective back into it that's something that is also really really interesting because then we could have an open world exploring and going into different landscapes of the resident evil series now surprisingly dust Gollum, who's the resident evil insider says a lot of things as he says um, he mentions that the game's potential setting they claim resident evil 9 will take place in a western ghost town whether this means players will be taken to an old american um, frontier or a modern day western town is unknown but the prospects of resident evil western would surely excite many fans and they say additionally since resident evil had the dlc shadow of rose in third person the option to have both is the final and um, um, wolf to have first and third person is the option that they would most likely go for so right there you can see that they did they have brought back third person in resident evil gold they brought in the rose dlc as well so we could go back to the main game and play it in third person so that means that going forward they will be giving us the option of both why take away the aspect of something Resident Evil has always been known for, which is its third person. So I do feel like they will keep that as a specific perspective going forward so that means that in the is in a ghost western town i don't think i've ever wondered or wanted a western resident evil but you don't know if you want it until you actually have it or see it and then you know you do need it and this is one of the moments because western zombies i don't know if it's going to be something where it's people who are dressed as western cowboy ones with guns and then obviously they turn into the biohazard syndrome and everything obviously anything can go on in this type of a place especially if it's somewhere where they still live in that type of lifestyle and they still have technology but not as much and then obviously they turn into something like undead nightmares because look how well that did everyone loves like western and aliens and stuff like that because they're so you know they're so out numbered or outgunned in certain ways when it's like that but zombies that's something that hasn't been done and if it's an open world type thing can you imagine how big and how special that would be for a resident evil game that would really take it in a whole different direction the series has never stepped foot in would it work though who can tell but then when we get to the capcom now they do have an unannounced game that is supposed to release by 2024 now the thing of this is a lot of people do not know where this game might stand where it might place what is this actual game as capcom seems to only love to use resident evil and street fighter now it's like it's their only games and devil may cry but we do know that obviously resident evil 5 was something that was written to supposedly have already been in development back in 2021 or 2022 early or late so right there we can kind of see that maybe it is exactly that game now i know a lot of us want dino crisis like me i would prefer for them to make a dino crisis but it seems we're never going to get that game it seems that that game is absolutely never going to show up at all but if it does i would open that game with open arm to be like yes finally the survival horror dinosaur game which we have all waited for we have wanted for so many years since they stopped making these games and these series wish it would come back but then again after what they did with exo primal making clearly that character be obviously the one from dino crisis you can tell that they probably maybe have a plan to bring it back but they're just testing the waters to annoy people and they surely succeeded with that but 
if it is Resident Evil 5, I can see that definitely happen as it picks up straight after Resident Evil 4 and Resident Evil 5 was back in the day supposed to be called the best Resident Evil game that they ever did. So nowadays, remaking that game, making it better, making it much more stronger than what it was originally, we could see them do some stuff with this game to possibly make it even more better. And we know for a fact after that we would get Resident Evil 6 as well, because that one was something very interesting with all the three characters we could play as. But I do feel like they will go ahead with this, and this might be the unannounced game, because that would mean you'd announce it this year at the Game Awards, Resident Evil 5, and it would be coming out in march of 2024 the middle of um 2024 or something so then we'd still get enough of a reveal at some point of obviously resident evil 9 as well so right there i do feel like that would probably be the actual secret unannounced game that they're doing i don't want it to be but you know it's capcom they don't seem to want to do dino crisis at all i've given up on asking for that hopefully someday we will get that but as of right now let me know what you guys think of this do you think that um the resident evil 9 setting in a western setting an open world third person and first person is the game that's ideal for you and do you also think that the next unannounced game is possibly resident evil 5's remake or could it be like everywhere else is saying and my brother said maybe it is monster hunter but who can tell but let me know in the comment section down below do like subscribe this is your boy future boy heading back to the future stay frosty peeps peace